watching Prime TV. My name is Alex Akubo. I'm a model. Uh, my name is Uti Nwachuku. Okay, my name is Ajibadik Mary Emanuel. My name is Kenneth Nwadike. My name is Kelechi. Hi, my name is Ife Onido. Fashion is just my life, really. And it's a growing passion within me. For me, you know, the camera is a vehicle. It's a vehicle for self-expression. It means to which I can air my opinion. Hey everyone, this is your girl Tiwa Savage. Hey, my name is W A J E Y J. Hello there, I'm Ace Susan Peters, this is Stephanie. Hey, my name is Van Vicken. This is Mona, I hope I don't have lipstick on my teeth. Keep watching Prime. <laughs> Ejiro Imostafiri, um, the creative director of the brand Ejiro Imostafiri. It's named after moi, myself. Yeah. Um, I think I first started designing way back when I was like uh, five. I was in primary one and I was off to boarding house. So whenever we had spare time, I would make paper clothes for my paper doll. You know, like just we, we used to do this crazy thing in my school there. We used to make paper dolls and then build a whole wardrobe for them. And then when I went home on holiday, my mommy had a sewing machine because she was going to sewing school in her spare time as well. I would cut the blinds of the house, cutting blinds, just chop the bottom off with scissors and then sit down in the machine and try to make actual clothes for my dolls. And then, but the very first human life size thing I ever did was in my primary six, a home economics class, and I made a pair of briefs underwear. <laughs> yes. Well, I think I've always been artistic. I've been always been an all-rounder. I loved science. I loved agri, like farming. I loved science. I liked anything that had to do with my hands or anything that had to create something new. So I never knew then I was going to be a designer, but I knew that I loved to do stuff with my hands. But like when I knew I wanted to be a designer was um, in my SS1 actually, because uh, I was. A science student. Um, I was attending this agri class and the teacher was pregnant so she wouldn't teach us. She would ask us to teach ourselves and I thought I didn't like reading <laughs> but I liked to pass. I was an A student but I never read and so how I, I listen, I'm a listener. So I go to class and the teacher says anything it sticks. So when she's not teaching, I don't believe in listening to what my mates are saying. They don't know. So actually I listen to them. And so my results came out and I had, I think I had an uh, A3, I think. I said, no, this is supposed to, vocational course, it's supposed to be A1. I should course that and be struggling with the other difficult science subjects. So I said I was going to change. I went to cooking class and they said it was full. I was in the girls' school, so everybody wanted to cook, Queen's College. So I then went to clothing and textile class. And the woman says, you the science student, what are you doing here? Um, I'll just give you probation for one week. If you're not good, I'll send you back to your science class. Okay, fine. And on that day, they were going for an excursion in Yabatek, fashion department. I got on the bus, and this is then I was going on a journey to meet my destiny. So I got to Yabatek, and I was literally starstruck. You know when people say, I was born again. I felt born again. I was just looking at everything. I, I went to, then I decided there and there, this is what I really wanted to do in my life. That's when I knew. I knew I was good at so many things growing up, but I didn't know. Everybody thought I was going to be a doctor. So I grew up with that notion, I'm going to be a doctor, I'm going to be a doctor. But when I stepped into that fashion department, Tiabatek, I just knew this was the life I wanted to live. So that was exactly when I knew I wanted to be a fashion designer. God inspires everyone, so basically God inspires me and um, my line is generally inspired by the joy de vive nature of the Lagosians. Lagosians are very happy people, so, and I grew up in Lagos, I grew up around this whole way of being, so um, I always want that to reflect in my clothes, I want everybody to see. My line is very cosmopolitan, um, it's something, even though it's has, it's obviously an African brand, but it's something you can wear anywhere in the world. My own definition of fashion, fashion is um, anything that is generally accepted and flocked towards. <laughs>